What's up guys, I'm back again taking a look at another low budget capture card today. This one was sent to me by P-Way and the big selling point on this is that they claim it will capture 60 frames at 1080. So I'm really excited to check this out. Now P-Way did send me this to keep and for review purposes, but I want to throw out there that that does not guarantee any kind of review on my part. What you're going to get from me is a fair and honest review on what this card can actually do. And what I want to do is compare it to these two cards, which I've done reviews on in the past. I will have links to all three of these cards in the description below. So if you're interested in buying any of them, buying through those links will help this channel out. But I've rambled enough. Let's see what this P-Way card can do. Okay, so this unboxing is going to be pretty quick and straightforward. The card comes in a blister pack with a USB-C to standard USB cable and a printout with the capture card specifications. I'll throw a pick up on the screen so you can see those for yourself. And I see here that even though it includes a USB-C cable, the specs state that the capture card is actually USB 2.0. But moving on, the build quality is very similar to the non-branded USB capture card that every tech and gaming YouTuber under the sun reviewed a few months back. It's got a tough aluminum shell and four tiny screws holding it all together. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to crack it open and compare the boards of both cards. It takes an extremely tiny Phillips head screwdriver to get these screws out. And here are the two boards side by side. For reference, here's a shot from one of my other videos of what the capture card with the pigtail looks like inside. And that thing was a nightmare to take apart. The card was easy to add in OBS Studio, and it was detected right away. I have an Amazon Fire Stick fed into it here as a test feed, and it also captures source audio with no problems. Here's some game footage captured from an Xbox 360 but please bear with my playing skill. I'm not much of a video gamer. Okay, so from here on out, I'll be doing some comparison testing. Neither of the two cards that I reviewed previously have a brand name, so I'll be referring to them as 30 FPS with pigtail and 30 FPS without pigtail to distinguish between the two, and I'll be referring to the P-Way card by its brand name. To do a quality comparison test between this P-Way card and the other cards that I reviewed in the past, I did a screen recording of some PC gameplay footage then I played back and recaptured that recording on each capture card. I captured everything at 1080p and 60 frames per second in OBS. You can see those results on the screen right here. I've taken a still image from the exact same frame in each capture and placed them all side by side. I'll give you a chance to look them over before I reveal which hardware captured which image. Okay, so the top two images are from the older cards that I reviewed in the past. I really can't see any difference between those two. Maybe your eyes are sharper than mine, but they look practically identical to me. The bottom left image was captured with the P-Way card and it is clearly a more crisp image. And finally, the image on the lower right is the direct screen recording, which I think is the best looking of the four. Here, I've taken the exact same frame captured by one of the older cards and compared it to the P-Way card, and you can see the P-Way card clearly gives a better image. Looking at them side by side, we can see that the P-Way card also captures on-screen text with much more clarity. Moving on to camera capture test, I've poured some beads into a glass 
and recorded it with my Panasonic Lumix G7. I properly white balanced the camera and recorded the original at 1080p, 60 frames per second. The captures were made in OBS Studio at 1080p with 60 frames per second as well. Looking at all of this footage, this is what you can expect to see. All of the images produced by the capture cards look pretty good overall. There is a slight yellowish green tint that is produced by all of the capture cards. Recording some camera footage for a motion blur test and comparing the P-Way card to one of the non-branded cards that I reviewed previously, don't shoot the messenger here, but I noticed that the P-Way card does not record at 60 frames per second. Sorry guys. I looked over the footage in Premiere, and as you can see, when we look at the captured footage frame by frame, we see that it's actually just recording 30 frames per second, and OBS is faking it by recording a double of each frame. I tested this out with my Panasonic Lumix and a GoPro Hero 4 with the same results. Both cameras were set to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and both cameras are verified to output 1080p 60 over HDMI. When we look at a direct recording from my camera, we can see that all the frames are indeed there when I scrub through my timeline in Premiere. And looking at the game footage that I captured earlier, we can see that the frames are indeed being faked in OBS. And checking the original game footage, all of the frames exist as they should. The P-Way card is just not a 60 FPS card, unfortunately. So my final verdict on this P-Way card is that even though it can't capture at a full 60 frames, the picture is superior in comparison to either one of these other two cards. If you're going for gaming and you can't afford a full 60 frame card, this one is clearly superior to the other two. With that being said, what I personally do with these capture cards for the most part is camera work and as far as camera work goes I couldn't see a difference in quality between this one and this one and this one is the cheapest and it has a built-in pigtail this is the one that I would go with for camera work but that's just me personally what I use this one for is to capture the HDMI output of my camera and send it to a 24 inch monitor that is just out of frame here that I can look at and make sure everything is in focus and framed properly and it's a gigantic help rather than looking at this tiny little flip out camera monitor. So I'm going to wrap this video up with a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. If you would like to support this channel on Patreon, there will be a link in the description below. Donations are appreciated, but never expected. As always, the best way you can help this channel grow is to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's it for now, and I'll see you with more money-saving tech tips next time.